So just how are the discount supermarkets going about their business? I've come to Kilburn High Road in North London. It's a very mixed area. There's some social deprivation, but there's also some extremely wealthy neighbourhoods nearby. I'm here to meet retail analyst Kate Hardcastle, and we're also going to talk to some of the shoppers. In we go. Next customer to till six, please. This aisle gives me a little kind of warm glow <laughs> because it's from another era, really. It almost, it, everything is trumpeted as once they're gone, they're gone. And we've got trifle bowls, huge disposable tin foil turkey trays. And then on the other side, we've got ski boots, thermals, <laughs> anoraks, there's candles. And then further down here, we've got jars of piccalilli next to chocolates. It's a, it's a very interesting grouping, isn't it? Yeah, I love this. Here, the discounters are saying, we have got a bit of interest, we have got something to keep coming back for, because you're going to pick up a bargain and say, I've got this thermal vest, it was only 3 99 and then I'm going to see what they've got next week, because once it's gone, it's gone. There'll be something else there this week. We're very good at justifying buying things. So if we make a lot of savings as we go through the aisles, and we do get that champagne at 9 99 rather than £30, we'll come and treat ourselves with the difference. We don't pocket that difference. So you've now got people up and down this aisle saying, do you know what? I can afford that Christmas jumper now. They'll probably get comments on it. And because they've made a bargain serving here, they're happy to brag about it. The braggability is creating word of mouth, which is meaning more people will come and try. This is a very clever aisle.